Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Aquarius? I hope you guys are doing amazing. How did you guys experience this full moon in Scorpio? Heavy, heavy energy. Oh, I know everybody was in their feelings. We're dealing with a lot of pent up emotions. Um, you know, things that we've been carrying from past lives. There is the death, the death of a, the old us uh, propelling us into the new beginning, the rebirth of our awareness, uh, change in our life or lifestyle, uh, transformative energy, very powerful energy. So let's see what is coming for you guys for this month of May 2021. Let's get into it. One more shuffle. Okay, let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Your first card is Nine of Swords. Okay. Heavy energy. Um, Nine of Swords could indicate stress, uh, worries. This is uh, anxiousness. Could be something that you've been dealing with um, for quite a while. We also have the Knight of Cups, the Judgment card, Queen of Swords, oh. High Priestess, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, okay, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is for a lot of you guys, it could be stress, worries in regards to your finances, in regards to your career, in regards to the field that you work in. Um, it's almost like we're going from the three of pentacles to the five of pentacles, uh, working in a group setting or uh, trying to work towards some type of goal, some type of achievement. Five of pentacles, you took a few losses or there is a feeling of um, taking a loss. Now, we do have the Eight of Pentacles here. So there is promise, there is progression in your finances. There is a new beginning that is coming towards you, a new endeavor. This could be a new project. This could be, uh, for those of you guys that, you know, run your own business or have, uh, have your own business, your own company, there is some type of contract, some type of new endeavor project that is coming towards you that is really going to um, be detrimental, uh, I feel, for not just me, but for the remaining of the year. Uh, this is a contract. This is something that is going to uh, pretty much put in lock or uh, guarantee the flow of income coming in. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have your own business, this is a contract that is, uh, it's not something that is going to be like temporary or, I don't want to say temporary. I feel like it's not a contract where basically you're getting into this, in, into this contract so that they can bind you uh, or your services uh, to, to this project for quite a while. And I feel that that's really going to propel you financially uh, it is a financial, a major financial increase, um, and it's something that you've either been hoping for, been trying to manifest, or have been intuitively thinking or wanting uh, to see something happen, to see some type of movement in regards to the to this connection. I feel that for some of you guys, you're already aware, or have been aware of this project. Uh, perhaps your company or you have been trying to get this deal, this contract, and it's finally coming to fruition in the month of May. Now, with the Nine of Swords, I do feel that there is a lot of anxiousness, a lot of stress. It could be in regarding to your finances. There could have been uh, some losses in your in your business, um, almost like too much money, too much money going out. Um, and not enough coming in. So it's it, it's almost like you deliberating or trying to figure out if you should continue on this path. And what they're telling you is, hold on, make it work, 
have faith, continue putting effort and energy, you're going to see the manifestations, you're going to see momentum, you're going to see uh, financial stability start to stabilize more for you for this month of May. Now, they are showing me here, um, for some of you guys that have been dealing with um, water energy, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for others, fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius type of energy, there was almost a, it could have been like a uh, distancing or pulling away from someone, from a person that you were connecting with or that you were interested in, um, could have been flimsy type of energy, energy that comes in and out, uh, they communicate and then all of a sudden they stop that communication. I feel that you went towards the decision of starting to pull back your energy or allowing them uh, to be the one to reach out to you. If they weren't putting effort, you weren't texting, you weren't calling. I see them coming back around. Um, unfortunately, I see them coming back around not so much because they miss you, but because they found out that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Um, it could have been that they were entertaining another person. It could have been that they were trying to start something new with someone, but they kept that under wraps as we do have the high priestess here and it is secrecy. Um, and they were trying to chase that stability or chase that new relationship um, and came to the understanding that this other person they were dealing with was entertaining another person and they ended up leaving them with the five of pentacles. So again, if you hear from someone that was from your past that cut you off or uh, decided to go MIA for quite a while, I feel that the reason for it was because they were actually entertaining another person. Um, it didn't pan out or it didn't work out the way they thought it would. So now they're coming back around trying to contact or communicate with you. What Spirit is telling you is release that. That is no longer uh, something that you should be entertaining. You should be walking or embracing new beginnings as we do have the Ace of Wands right at the center. So what they're telling you is with the judgment, I feel that for a lot of you guys, it could be a situation where you've been experiencing like a lot of resistance, a lot of blockages. Uh, this could be in reference to uh, trying to move forward or trying to uh, attain some type of financial stability. And it's almost like the more you tried or the more you continued to be on this pursuit, the more you were incurring or dealing with blockages. Um, and what they're telling you here is persistence. That's going to be um, that's going to be your motivation for the month of May. Uh, what they're telling you is don't give up. Continue on this path. Right when you feel like you're about to give up, Aquarius, there is a major breakthrough. Again, I feel that by the end of the month, you're going to be knowing about this new incentive, this new um, this new endeavor this new project, this new contract coming in. For others of you, it could be a legal contract of getting a higher ranking position. Um, and again, I feel that it's been be based off of your hard work and determination. So what they're telling you here is don't give up. Uh, right when you are feeling like you're about to give up, it's almost like the universe hands you what you've been wanting or what you've been asking for. So again, um, stick to it, continue persisting, there are breakthroughs that are happening for you for this month of May. Now, for others of you, what they are saying here is, for those of you guys that have or are single at the present time, um, stop, stop, uh, stop trying to uh, continue connecting with the past, something about the past. It could have been a karmic uh, experience, a karmic connection. It could have been something that really was life transformative for you. So for you females out there, it could have been like um, a relationship that could have been toxic or could have been on the down low. Um, and there could have been the, the fruits, the birth of fruits, meaning having children with this person. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, and if this is a male, it could be uh, that you were in a relationship that was under wraps with the female. You could have had a child with them. What they're telling you is that in on a deeper level, on a subconscious level, this triggered a lot of memories or experiences from past lives. And it's something that you've been carrying or dealing with for quite a while. There's almost like a feeling of um, accepting what is, meaning accepting 
what your life is right now and what spirit is telling you keep in mind we just experienced the full moon in scorpio and what that does is you know um the full moon in scorpio is you know the the eighth house and the eighth house is all about uh transformation it is all about secrets but it's also very connected to our karma to our past life experiences so there is something that you need to release from the past in order to be able to embrace not only this new beginning but the rebirth of you the karmic cycle coming to its conclusion or becoming balanced in your karmic um in your karmic um energy field so again uh, let go of the past that is indicating people from the past that is indicating experiences that perhaps like I said were very life transforming for you um, that is not what they're saying here and it's coming on very strong that is not um, that is not what your life is going to be so it's almost like for some of you guys you've accepted what is at this present time in your life wherever you are in your life whether there is feeling of uh, what's the unfulfillment the feeling of like there's something missing in your life this is not what you have to accept this is not what you have to uh, basically surrender to what they're telling you is there are new beginnings that are unfolding for you for a lot of you guys a deepening of a connection for others of you elevation of uh, relationship of career of finances but you have to let go of those past experiences and understand that there was a purpose and lesson behind it um, and now moving forward again like I said there was a karmic release and uh, you know like I said with the full moon in Scorpio it is that of the death um, whether it be the death of our ego whether it be the death of our past experiences it's laying something to rest to be able to finally move on so in the month of may i see you guys coming to terms with something of having the need to release something that has been very active on your in your subconscious mind that you've been dragging um or dealing with all these years it could be resentment it could be um even regrets for some of you guys and there is a need for you to let this in the underworld let it die uh, with the full moon that was in Scorpio uh, to be able to embrace this new rebirth of yourself of your karmic cycle of what has what has transpired that has assisted you on a karmic level to ascend to a higher energy to a higher frequency it's almost like that situation of um, you know I deal with a lot of clients and a lot of the times they learn their lessons um they learn their lessons and spirit is trying to guide them to the understanding of knowing that once you learn the lesson it is up to you to be able to release that and move forward a lot of the times because we stay in fear because of what we experience um whether it was traumatic um it's almost like we allow it to taint us uh to the point that we are not letting go of that lesson even though you've outgrown the lesson it's like you're still playing it active because you're still holding on to whatever fear um or doubt uh it's almost like a defensive mechanism if that makes sense to you guys and what they're telling you is you've outgrown these such this these situations you've outgrown it you've been able to release that and now it's time to ascend now it's time to change your perspective or see things from a very different perspective that is going to help you elevate your energy um, so again letting go of the past past experiences you've outgrown that um, you're coming out at the end much stronger much more stable here um, and again being able to embrace these new beginnings so uh, my advice to you guys very strongly for the month of May 2021, any regrets, any resentments, anything like that, let it go. Um, because if you're still holding on to it, again, it's like I said, you've outgrown those lessons, but you're still holding on to that. So you cannot ascend or go to the next cycle of your life because you're still dragging those chains. So it is about releasing the chains that you're still carrying from past lives or from uh, past lives 
experiences that you've brought into this lifetime that are connected to your karmic uh, cycle, okay? All right, so let's get into what is the energy that Aquarius needs to embrace for this month of May 2021? What are the energies that Aquarius needs to embrace for this month? For some of you guys, those of you guys that are single, I am being told that you will be meeting a new person or a new love interest that may be connected to your career, to your finances. This could be a person that recently moves or that is transferred to your location. Uh, for others of you, it could represent being introduced uh, being introduced to a friend through family or friends or your so social circle. So just be mindful of that. Keep an open eye for that. I feel that there's awkwardness behind that introduction. So it can be like um, that they let you know that they want to introduce you to something. You're kind of not feeling it or you may be hesitant. Uh, what they're telling you is go with the flow, okay? You're going to be very surprised. I don't know why I'm being told that there's awkwardness to that introduction. So um, when this manifests for you, come back to this video and let us know. Uh, what was that awkwardness introduction? Because there's like some type of awkwardness connected to this to this meeting. Not sure what that means, but I'm interested. You know my name, my nosy ass is interested. Okay, here we go. So we have the moon card, and the moon card is that is the energy that you need to embrace. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams. Um, don't suppress your emotions, Aquarius. Uh, if there is a feeling of feeling a bit overwhelmed or having the need to release, having the need to uh, cry it out to help you heal, let it happen. Don't hold back. It's okay not to be strong all the time. It's okay to feel uh, like you're losing control of your emotions because guess what? That's part of being human. And it's part of the human experience. So again, embrace that. If you feel uh, that there's a need to release, like I said, there's a need of purging. Um, so let it happen. Don't hold back. Another thing that I want to tell you guys is uh, for this month of May, it's going to be very important for you guys to be completely honest with yourselves. We have the High Priestess here with the Moon card, and this does speak about hidden um hidden secrets this can also represent not being completely honest or transparent what they're telling you is you you must remember that there is a balancing of scales happening right now for you guys karmic uh, karmically wise um, and what they're telling you is you need to be honest or transparent about your intentions or about your feelings towards other people you don't want to set off um, the lessons that you have already learned I hope that makes sense so I'm going to be pulling out a shadow oracle card here. And this speaks about our shadow work, our shadow side. This is what we need to work on ourselves moving forward for this month of May 2021. Let's see if it clarifies the moon energy here. Whoa. Okay. So we had two cards that popped out, but they uh, popped out um, not upright. So I'm going to put those to the side. And we're going to stay with this one that was that flipped over. And what we have here is focus and distraction. So I feel that for a lot of you guys with the moon card, uh, this can also represent um, like heavily drinking or, you know, even taking like pills to sleep because you're restless. For others of you, this could literally be like drugs, um, alcohol, pills, anything like that. What they're telling you is moving forward, there's a need of clarity of mind. And that could be what the moon is highlighting here, to listen to our intuition, listen to our emotions. Don't suppress them. The more we try to suppress them, the more it's easier for us to fall into some type of addictive behavior only because we're trying to escape reality or escape our emotions. They're telling you for the month of May, it's going to be crucial and very important to remain focused and uh, um, avoid distractions at all costs. So again, for those of you guys that um, have been dealing with difficulties in regards to your finances, remain optimistic and focused. Don't lose, um, don't lose focus of your your aspiration, what you're trying to attain. Um, 
don't distract yourself or don't allow others to distract you. It is crucial for you to remain focused for this month to be able to fully see uh, not only financial stability, but the growth and the new beginnings that are unfolding before you. Again, if you have noticed that there is a pattern of either relying on pills or even like weed, as an example, to relax you, stuff like that, um, make sure to keep that in check and don't go above um, comfortability or overdoing it only because I feel that that has a lot to do for some of you guys, why you've been dealing with a lot of distractions and then started to experience a lot of like uh, financial instabilities or being not as motivated, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this readings. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.